With Google Chrome removing the secured padlock icon from the address bar soon, it seems lots of people have questions about HTTPS and how transport security works. So let's talk about what it is, how it works, and how SSL and TLS keep your connections safe. HTTP, or Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is the backbone of the World Wide Web. HTTP is a plain text protocol that could be read, intercepted, or modified by anyone on the internet. Any data sent between your browser and the server is sent in the clear, and that includes passwords, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information. Now, HTTPS addresses this massive vulnerability by utilizing TLS or transport layer security. Now, TLS acts as a way of negotiating an encrypted connection between your browser and the server. So let's review how TLS 1.2 works. First, the browser establishes a TCP connection with the server. Next, the handshake process begins with the client sending a hello message to the server. And included with this hello message is a list of the browser's supported TLS methods and the browser's supported ciphers and encryption algorithms. The server then decides which TLS method and ciphers it's going to use and replies to the client with this decision. The server then sends its certificate to the client, which includes the public key of the server. From here, the process will vary depending on the chosen encryption algorithm, but suffice it to say that the client generates a symmetric encryption key known as the session key. Then the session key is encrypted using the public key from the previous step and is sent to the server. The communication from there on out is symmetrically encrypted using the session key. Now, asymmetric encryption is useful for transferring small amounts of data in the clear, but it's too computationally intensive to use for bulk data transfer. That's why the client generates a session key and regular communication is carried out symmetrically. Now, there are other methods of carrying out the TLS handshake. In fact, version 1.3 optimizes the process of requiring only a single network round trip. But by doing so, it's a little bit more complicated and harder to understand though it does share most of its design with version 1.2. But what's great about all of this is that it can be handled for you for free. For example, Let's Encrypt's CertBot CLI tool or even one of our one-click apps can handle all of the dirty work for you. So are you ready to deploy your next project using HTTPS? Use the links below to learn more and get started. That's gonna do it for this video. Make sure you get subscribed and stay tuned for more videos on how to best set up your cloud infrastructure for your business or application needs. We'll see you next time.